Hey, what's going on? Too quick for you. 104 coming to you. In my next video. This is uh, going to be my battery comparison uh, test video. So these are all three cell lipos. Um, first one is I'm, I'm, first one I'm going to run is actually going to be this, the Dynamite Speed Pack to 5,000 milliamp uh, 3S. These are all 3S, like I said, 11.1 uh, .1 volt. Tw this is a 20C battery. I understand uh, milliamps to C ratings uh, makes a difference on batteries, but uh, that's that's what I'm going to be running. That's the first one I'm going to run. Then after that, I'll I'll pop in this Winmax, which uh, Winmax is a I believe it's a Chinese made or overseas made battery. Um, I'm real, actually real happy with these batteries for for the price. This, as you can see, I'll pull it out of this packaging here. Um, it's more of a 16th scale battery, but this, this is the batteries I run in my uh, wrestler. So you can see that compared to the size of a full size dynamite. Or, I'm sorry, Thunder Power. And then that's uh, a 2650 milliamp three cell. But the rating on these are, as if you could see, it's hard to see. There, there we go. 50 to 100 C discharge. Uh, really good batteries. They're uh, soft packs. That's the only things I like. I like running hard packs. But I'll be running those as well. So that's a 2650 three cell. Uh, like I said, 50 to 100 C. Last battery I'll be running in the truck will be a three cell. Thunder Power 6600. It's 35C as you see, as you can see that. Um, so these are the three batteries I'm going to be running. So, sorry I don't have a max amps. I wish I had a max amps battery I could run um, to see the difference between a Thunder Power and a max amps. I'd like to see that difference. Um, sorry about the noise in the background. We got Demolition Derby going on just a couple blocks away from here. Um, so the truck I'm going to be running these in will be the 4x4 Slash, uh, not the low center gravity edition, the older the older model, but that's what I'm going to be running all three of these batteries in. So let me get the first battery plugged in, like I said, is going to be the Dynamite Speed Pack, right here, this battery here. So let me get that battery plugged in and uh, let's get some speed runs going. Hopefully this video doesn't take too long. Um, this will be a raw, ed no editing video, of course, like all my videos. Um, I'll take a look at the, I've, I've looked into that little editing program a little bit. But um, not yeah. We'll we'll see. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> but yeah. So let's get this plugged in. And there we go. We're good to go. Get the remote turned on. Got signal. Okay. Get my steering straightened out because it's set up for this rustler. That's the problem with running multiple cars on the same radio. They're, you know, set up different. All right, all right. Like I said, this is the three cell uh, speed pack made by Dynamite. Here, I'm going to set the camera down. Actually, before that, here's the speed gun we're going to be using once again, the Bushnell. Uh, let me get it turned on. There it is, zeroed out. I'm going to have my boy again. He's going to be radaring me. So let me get the camera set up. On a good view. I don't have a third set of hands to record me doing speed runs, but this will work. I'm not putting the body on just for ease of changing batteries out. So here we go. All right, point at the car. Uh, hold on, let me adjust that my trim first because it's pulling hard right. I'm sorry, hard left. I'll bring it back. It's still pulling left a little. All right, we're good to go. All right, I'm gonna get a speed run in. Here we go. How fast, Benny? 50. Show the show the camera. 45. Let's see if I can show you that. Um, there it is, 45. I'm gonna bring it back and see if we can get a higher number than that. Reset it. All right. How fast? 56. 46. 46. Let's show the camera that one. There is... I'm trying to get this in there. There it is. 46 corner. Alright. I'm going to uh, do one more run just to show it. How fast, Benny? 
45. 45, okay, bringing it back one more time. How fast, Benny? 45. 45, all right. And this is the, the battery I ran the car to do the initial test with this uh, speed gun. This is the, that's why it's pulling 45 again, which is pretty consistent. So let me get this battery changed out and um, show you with the next one. All right. Let me... All right. So out with the dynamite. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna go with the like I said the Win Max. Also three cell, like I mentioned. Um, just a 2650, but the burst rating on this is a 50 to 100 C. So, yeah, burst rate rating makes it makes quite a difference. Uh, I guess it's going to be held up there. So let me get this plugged in. Yeah, I never switched this battery out. It has it tracks the connector, so I just built a little adapter. Flips between the two. I uh, apologize for the wind. If you're getting a lot of wind noise, it's kind of a windy day today. There we go. All right, that one's plugged back in. All right, let me set the camera back down. Boy, got the radar gun. You got it zeroed out, Ben Ben? Yep. All right. Let's do some more speed runs. Now with the Win Max 2650, 50 to 100C. What did that get up to? 44. 44? Okay, bringing it back. What did that get up to? 40. 42. Wow, that only pulled 42 on that one. If you can see that. 42. Well, put it back down the street and back up to us. Reset it? Mm -hmm. Alright. What did it get up to? 44. 44. So it'll show 44 on camera. There it is, 44. Back to us. What did that get up to, Benny? 42. 42. Alright. So this battery, 42 to 44 miles an hour with the Win Max. And then again, I'll go over. Or you know what? Before I even put in the Thunder Power, this would be a good time. Okay, this Win Max I got on eBay. I want to say for I don't know, seventeen, eighteen dollars, and that was uh, including shipping and everything. The Speed Pack. Um, it has a. You see that? Sixty-five dollar price tag is what they do sell. I got it on uh, again on eBay. Got this one for I want to say. 50, 49.99 plus shipping. I can't recall what the shipping was, so uh, I'd say 55 or so. And uh, yeah. And then to the Thunder Power. These, if you look on eBay, are 150 a piece, 149.99 a piece. Um, I got a really good deal on these, uh, just a little over 100 dollars a piece. And uh, of course, I need to run two for the for the. Uh, Mamba Rustler, one, you know, the 100 mile an hour Rustler. But this is the next battery I'm gonna run. I see I'm already getting up to almost nine minutes. So I'm gonna try to make this a little faster. Sorry about the long video. Um, we'll see. All right, so get that unplugged. Then you just get this plugged in, get a speed run, and we'll be on the road. I'm gonna set you down. All right, it's plugged in, it's turned on. All right, let me get you facing down the road right. All right, let me get, boy, you ready? What did that get up to? 47. 47, let's show the, there it is, 47. Back to us. How fast, Benny? 47. 47 again. One more time away from us. You got it zeroed out? Yeah. All right. 
How fast, Benny? 48. 48. All right, let me show the camera. 48 now. There's 48. Back to us. How fast, Benny? 47. 47. All right, so we actually got a maximum speed of 48 miles an hour with the Thunder Power, um, which I know, you know, between, you know, a $17 battery pulling 42 to 44 and a $150 battery pulling 47, you're only talking, you know, three to four to five mile an hour difference, but uh, when you're doing the 100 mile an hour run, every mile counts. Uh, but like I said, I wish I had a max amp so I could do the difference between a Thunder Power and a max amp, but unfortunately I don't. Um, like I said, this video is starting to get long, 10, 10, almost 11 minutes, so hopefully I gave you a general idea on, you know, you're pretty much getting what you're paying for if you're willing to pay for the battery. So, uh, hope this helps. Talk to you guys later. Peace.